We've got over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. Looks like Kia sent us their top of the line Sorrento X line. Over 45 grand for this baby. We did a complete one week road test. That's a separate video. We'll have a link for that later. But for now, our main job is to take these headlights out in the dark so they perform and do some other night driving. This is a night driving video only. Other road test and a separate video. Looks like triple bulbs on each side. And let's see how they work. Okay, time for the headlight test. We got the low beams on. We have the two small bulbs on the right. And switch to high beam. We have a very strong one on the left combined with the two on the right. It's daylight right now. Let's take it out in the dark. So now it's darker, we get a better view. Low beams. Two bulbs running, third one not. And now the tail lights. Emergency flashers. Those are big ones. Is on the mirror as well. And blow the headlights. Wow, definitely brighter without the headlights on. Definitely. Certainly big enough. Put the transmission in reverse. This is what we're seeing. Good widespread. Let's see what this does. And that. Pretty good clarity on the screen. Below that, lots of controls lit up very nice. Especially the main control panel for the infotainment system. Door panel. Gauge cluster. Okay, going to the headlights. We have the low beams on the wall 33 yards away or 100 feet. Pretty bright. Height, not as much as I would like. We prefer over the bushes. Go to high beam. <laughs> no problem there. Plenty of light in the middle. Okay, lighting up the street. Low beam. High beam. And you're in my way. Okay, let's try that again. Low beam. High beam really reaches out there. Low beam not so much. Okay for city driving, but higher speeds you want this. For the 45 grand we're paying for this vehicle, you think we get active headlights that turn the same direction as the steering wheel. Great for taking corners, but not to be on this one. That's okay, they're bright enough. If you watch my videos, you know one thing I cannot stand are auto dimming rear view mirrors, especially those that don't have a button to disconnect them. If you don't be driving around the city with blacked up mirrors, you might hit somebody on the side like a bicyclist. One common trick is to take some transparent tape, put it over the sensor hole in the mirror. That darkens it enough to eliminate the glare from the headlights and back, but makes it light enough to see what's around you. Or you can take some heavy duty solid tape and just black the whole thing out altogether. This works best. And the sensor hole is right there, the size of a tiny micro dot. See, you learned something watching this video. Also, I don't like interior lights coming on when I open the door. I find a switch to turn that off. I couldn't find a switch to turn it off, but now it goes off all the time, so I'll just leave it alone for now. And if you haven't seen this in my other videos, there are cameras on the outside mirrors and when you turn on the turn signal you get to see what's beside you looks pretty good in the dark there's the right turn signal and the headlights do pretty good of lighting up signs on the freeway as you can see and they do a pretty good job in driving down creepy night neighborhoods 
don't want to run over any drunks out here. And there's plenty to run over tonight. There's a couple right there. Overall, I rate the headlights pretty good and the entire night vision and night driving experience pretty good. No complaints on this vehicle. I give it a pass. That concludes our headlight test. If you want to see the complete review, just click on the link coming up.